Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a get ready with me video, very inspired by this girl named Sarah who I've been following on Instagram. I will leave her link in the description below. But Danielle and I are going downtown so I couldn't think of a better day to film something like this. Never done one of these before so I'm pretty nervous and feeling very vulnerable right now. Hope you like this video and if you do please give it a thumbs up and let's get right to it. I have already prepped and primed my face with my moisturizer and under eye cream as well as a pore minimizer. I will leave all the links in the description. Also I did my eyebrows off camera because I was out of focus anyway. I do go in with my NYX concealer just to make the eyeshadow a little bit more even. I do start with the white chocolate all over my lid and going in with salted caramel as my transition shade and milk chocolate just after with semi-sweet all over my lid. The key to this is making sure you are blending it as much as possible. So going in with the NYX concealer underneath my eyebrow, it does give it a more defined look. Also here I am doing my eyeliner, which is always a struggle as you can see, consistently cleaning it up. I do have problematic skin, so I use a color corrector just to kind of help me out during these troubling times. Outline my lips, I find that it like really helps with defining them. This look wouldn't be complete without the eyelashes. Foundation, I will leave that link. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. I think it's called Tu A Clant. Blending with a damp beauty blender. I am using a Tarte concealer just underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and on my smile lines. These are just areas that I like to highlight and prevent from creasing as much as possible. Blending, blending, blending. And then I use my MAC setting powder a little bit generously underneath my eyes and I'll wipe the excess off later as I go in with mascara and I do the bottom lashes. I love highlighting so I always highlight the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. It's amazing when you do your lipstick, it just like, you know, makes everything pop. I'm gonna wipe off the excess. I normally don't contour my face, but in this particular look, she definitely has a really defined um, cheekbone, so I'm going to try it out. I used to know how to contour my face a couple years ago, and then I haven't in a really long time, but ooh, I like that highlight. I did fix my bangs because they were bothering me. And this is my favorite part. I find when you use the liquid and a regular lipstick, it kind of holds it down a lot better, if that makes sense. And I kind of went over it a little bit more. Also using my Wonder Pencil again, just to define it just a little bit more. Here is the final look. We're set to go. And so you made it to the end of the get ready with me portion. Hopefully you enjoyed it and stick around to see all of Danielle and I's ventures downtown. Yeah. Uh, 